Hi, this is Tom with Avidyne. We are in the process of uh, flying a flight plan with a, a published departure and an arrival. We're referencing uh, the book Flying with the Avidyne IFD by Michael F. Bauer. When we last left off, we had a, a flight plan from St. Paul downtown airport to Chicago Midway using the Zombro 6 departure and the MoT5 arrival. So we've got that loaded in here as such all the way down to the Midway Airport. So at this section, at, at this juncture, well, notice where the uh, procedure is telling us to fly vectors as part of our standard departure. Shortly after takeoff, let's say we receive the following clearance. Cessna 1234, turn left heading 185, intercept the Minneapolis 138 degree radio, continue the Zombro 6 departure. So we are going to fly a heading to intercept a radio. So how do we do that? So first thing let's do, we're gonna to go to the flight plan tab. We are there. What let's do is bring our cursor down to jet it. So we're gonna intercept a radio off of uh, Minneapolis. So we wanna activate the leg between Minneapolis, MSP and jet it. So let's highlight over jet it and activate that leg. So now that becomes the active leg, and you can see there it says we want to fly jetted at 4,000. So now let's zoom out here. So let's go over to our map and zoom out. Okay, so we zoomed out, and now you can see we're turning. We want to intercept that leg, but as we're flying that route, what happens if we want to intercept a random radio? ATC calls and says, Cessna 1234, on your present heading, intercept the no dean 305 degree radio then continue as filed all right so let's figure that one out here we're going to intercept the no dean so let's go over here first thing we're going to want to do is go to the same thing we want to select odi and activate that leg then we want to go to the obs mode so we're going to come up here and push in on the button and get us into obs mode and we're gonna set it for 125 degrees, which is the reciprocal of 305. Remember, we're doing a radial of 305 is 125 degrees inbound because the radial is always outbound on the VOR. So let's put in 305 and you'll see the, uh, the course line swing by. I'm sorry, I wanted 125. We were talking about that a second ago. The radial of 305 is a course of 125. That makes more sense for me now, graphically. So when your aircraft may behave slightly different than the way the simulator is. If you have a external CDI, or let's say you have an Aspen PFD or something, uh, you would do that OBS over there and it would slew the course over here. If you, in this case, we're using the manual OBS on the IFD. We're flying a course of 125 to intercept. So it's pretty easy. So when the aircraft crosses the ODI waypoint leg, the IFD will automatically continue to fly inbound as we transition to ODI and then on to CBA. So that's kind of a cool and easy feature. Remember, if you want to intercept a radial, you want to basically activate that leg because you need to be able to find both ends of that leg. And then you can intercept uh, by putting in the course in the OBS mode. Next, we'll talk about course offsets. So stay with us on the next video. Thanks.